As coach of the inside receivers at Texas Tech, uh, the first thing that I expect from my receivers is for them to be tough. Uh, you, you're playing, you're going over the middle, uh, you're, you're, you're in the midst of, of a bunch of big players in the Big 12, and I understand that sometimes they're going to be undersized, but you've got to have courage, you've got to have talent, and you've got to have a lot of heart and a lot of want to, and, and that's what I look, look for in my players, the inside receivers. Uh, I look, guys, look for guys that are consistent, and, and particularly guys that pay close attention to detail guys that are great at running routes, guys that know how to, to work a defender, guys that whenever they line up and the play's called, they look across the field and they have a plan. They know who they're running the route off of and they know what their next move is. And so, you know, all that puts together, you know, I think we'll have really good receivers and, and I feel like that we have that here at Texas Tech. You know, I started as a, a head coach in the Indoor Football League, moved on to graduate assistant, and now I'm here at Texas Tech. My first full-time coaching in college football and so I'm young in this business but but I also am aware of guys who've been successful and and I think early on you know coach Tuberville has been here for three months and I've just tried to learn as much as I can for him I think the organization he brings the structure and the discipline that he brings to this program are very influential on my career uh, very influential on, on the way I my outlook on things and so I think you know I'm fortunate to be young in this profession and, and under Coach Tuberville, a coach that I can learn so much from. What I love about coaching is, it's, first, of all, first of all, it's an opportunity to still be around football, a game that I love, uh, and secondly, to get to be around the players, because I love being around the players. Uh, it kind of makes you all, I'm still young, but it makes you feel even younger. Uh, you get to run around, uh, and I think there's just, football's the ultimate team sport. There's nothing better in team sports. It takes all 11 guys out there on the field to be successful. And so to, to have a part in it, you know, for my inside receivers to perform well on Saturday, that gives me a lot of joy. Uh, it makes me uh, excited whenever I see them do well and whenever they take the coaching points out that we give them in the film room and on the practice field and execute them on Saturday. It makes me really happy. You know, I, I played here at Texas Tech University. I was here for five years. Uh, I've, I've never really been away from Lubbock in the last 10 years, and there's a reason for it. Uh, when I came to Lubbock, uh, I knew this is the place I wanted to be at Texas Tech. I love being here. Uh, I love the community and, and the school. You know, the, the, it's a beautiful campus. Uh, it, it's a diverse campus. Uh, there's people from all over the state of Texas, people from all over the uh, United States. Uh, and so it's a great campus. It, it's big. Uh, and then whenever you, you have a game on Saturday afternoon, the campus shuts down and they're in Jones AT&T Stadium. And that's what I think is really unique about Texas Tech is that the community of Lubbock is so supportive of uh, Texas Tech University and of Texas Tech football. My experience here at Texas Tech as a player was unbelievable. Uh, you know, I say that and I started one year, I started my senior year, but for the four years that I was a backup, I was around uh, some of the best friends that I've ever met. Uh, some of the best times I've ever had here at Texas Tech have been in the locker room, hanging around with uh, teammates after practice, uh, going on road trips, going to the movies, different things like that. And so I, I think the, the experience that I had here as a player, as a student athlete, uh, is, is bar none the best that I could have ever, ever had. It was the best decision I ever made to come to Texas Tech and play football. And, and then uh, you know, my senior year being able to start, uh, have a productive year, and, and really share and the success with all my teammates was, was something that I always remember. I was a player at Texas Tech in 2003 whenever this new facility opened up and now you have it's only seven years later, it's getting remodeled and I think that's the commitment that Texas Tech has to its football program, the, the vision that Coach Tuberville has for uh, our team and all the new improvements. We're getting new uh, uh, field turf practice fields, the Hall of Fame that's being put into the football training facility, a brand new weight room uh, that's being remodeled that is not only seven, it's about seven years old. Uh, there's been two renovations on the stadium, I think, in the past five years. So it's an exciting time to be part of Texas Tech football, and I'm just honored to be there. The Texas Tech football family is a very tight-knit group. And when you say football family, that, that, that includes everyone that's associated with the football program. That includes the academics. It includes the video crew, the managers, the trainers, uh, the equipment staff. Uh, strength and conditioning coaches down to the players and all the coaches, uh, secretaries, and so that's, that's a big family. 
And what's exciting about it right now in Texas Tech is that all that family is pulling in one direction, and that's to be the best football program that we can be. And so everyone, uh, coaching staff gets along great. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a fun atmosphere to work in. It's a fun for the kids. And I think the Texas Tech football family is truly a family. Coach Tuberville speaks often about building championships, winning championships, and I think it's a great thing because in order to attain it, you first have to, uh, to believe it. You have to see it. You have to dream it. And we want our guys to do it. And we want our guys to do it uh, on and off the field. And that's what we've really stressed, academics, uh, showing up on time, you know, acting and carrying themselves like champions off the field and then doing things on the field that will lead us to championships. And, and, and I think that we're on our way in a short amount of time.